I picked up another collection and this one was picked up at Terrificon. All right, guys, I did pick up another comic book collection. This one was picked up at Terrificon. We're going to talk about Terrificon. We're going to talk about the collection. You're going to see every single book in it because it's small. We're going to talk price, and I don't know what else we're going to talk about. Before we get into it, hit me up on all the social medias. You know where I am, very Gary underscore comics across all of them. Don't forget to give me a follow over on Whatnot, where I'll be selling every Tuesday night at 8.30 Eastern, part of the... Attack on Tuesday group, me, Erod212, Davis Ryder, and Pressable Defects. But stay tuned because we may be moving to another night. We'll talk about it. I'll post it when the time comes. So with that, let's get into it. First off, Terrificon came and went. It was absolutely incredible as always. Thank you to all the people who came out. And whether you bought something or you didn't, at least you said hi. I saw so many people. Thank you to everyone. Way too many to name. I hope everybody had a good time. It was fantastic. Uh, and already looking forward to next year. For you guys who didn't make Terrificon, hopefully you hung out with me on Whatnot. I was selling with Chris Campania, Ryan Brown, and John Jang. If you did, your books are already off to CGC. If you didn't, well, hopefully you come back for New York Comic Con because I'm going to be with John Jang, most likely Mark Morales, and then maybe a couple artists to be determined later. But again, if you enjoy Jang and Mark Morales from the past, we're bringing them back for New York Comic Con. Uh, I'm going to get those streams up on whatnot so you can start bookmarking them. So, all right, enough of all that. Let's get into this collection. Uh, my man called me or emailed me. I'm not sure how he got in touch, but he lived really close to the to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, and he was looking to sell his collection, a very small streamlined collection. The reason he was selling was because he's a collector of hobbies. He actually had a whole bunch of different hobbies he was into. Uh, the one he was really, really focusing on was his sports jersey collection. So he wanted to sell off his comic books, get away from comic books, and focus on another hobby. So it's just two short boxes and a small stack of slabs. When the collections are this small, I'm able to show you all of them. We're going to wrap it all up just in one video. So first things first, let's take a look at the two short boxes. Then let's see the slabs. Then we'll talk price. And you let me know if you think I did well, not well, and everything in between. All right, guys. So here are the two short boxes. It's more like one and a half. And there is a little stack of slabs. We'll show the slabs on camera at the end. So let's start with this one right here. I'll show you every single book in this collection. We have a Department of Truth number one, sixth printing, Something's Killing the Children, 17, a Silk 4, nothing crazy yet, Shade Craft, Shade Craft, Venom 35 variant, another Venom 35 variant, and another Venom 35 variant, Deadpool 1, nice book, nothing crazy. Circle Chase 1 though, newsstand, I do like that. Deadpool 11, this is the G.I. Joe homage, couple spine ticks, this is a thicker book. X-Men 133, first Wolverine solo story, I like that. Wolverine 1 in a newsstand, I really like that. Does need a press, you're looking at like an 8590 as is, maybe, maybe a little better, I am a little conservative. Uh, Somebody's Killing Children number 1, I think this is the 8th print, I have to look this variant up, oh, it's a 121 out of 500, so it's a, it is... Rabbit Comics? Never heard of them. All right, moving on. We have another Somebody's Killing Children one. This is the Jay Lee. This is actually the number one. And then we have some variants here in, for number 16. This is a ratio for number 16. So these are like 125s, 1 in 50s. Uh, my variant from Chris Lee. Two of them. Those are in there. And some more ratios here. Hold on. Uh, here's number 13. Here's 14. Here's 15. I'll yeah, go down here. 16. Another 16. Another 16. More 16 variants. Berserker 2. I'm not sure what variant this is. The foil. Number 2. Another foil. Number 2. Canto number 2. Canto number 3. And I'll have to look these cantos up. I think this is number 1, but I don't know. I have to look these up. Uh, Canto has a huge following. This, I believe, is either a second print or a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, I believe. Canto number two, three, four, five, six. Huge following. Canto number one, City of 
Giants. The Hollow Men, number one, two, three, four, five. Here's a Canto homage to Ninja Turtles, number one. More Canto stuff, more Canto stuff. We have Shadecraft, number one. These are in two of them. I don't know why these are in uh, top loaders. There must be something special about them. I have to look those up. The Modern Variants gets me, guys. I mean, I'm not great here. Reprint on this, more Shadecraft. Number two is King and Black, five. And Venom 34, Silk 1, this is the regular cover, here's a variant, Silk 2, Silk 3, small collection, here's the Gleason variant for Carnage, um, some Dark Hawk, small collection, but very, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here is, this is not part of the collection, this came out of something from Terrificon, so that one doesn't count, but we'll see what else we have here, some, oh, this is the Mike Mayhew, this is the Mayhew variant, Virgin the Trade, from Mutant Beaver Comics. We deal with them. Silk 4 variant. Some Stray Dogs. That's a free giveaway. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number 1. And then we have... Let's see. Can we do this? Is that better? We have Last Ronin number 1. Put that aside. We'll start. More of these Killing the Children, Not Bagged or Boarded. More Department of Truth. Shang Chi, more something's killing the children. Number thirteen. But there's a lot. There's a few. There's three books in this one bag and board. We have thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, put those aside. Some Batman, something's killing the children. Sixteen, more sixteen. It's like it seems like bad idea stuff. You know, house on nice house in the lake. This stuff comes in every collection now. Turtles one seventeen. Is this a peach cover? I'm not sure if that's a peach cover. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it is. Strange Academy 11 variant. Web of Spider-Man 1, 1. Miles 25 variants, and some Berserker. All right, let's get to the other box. That's the better one. All right, before we get into this, I want to hear from you guys in the chat. Do you guys like these plastic BCW boxes? Because I do come across them in collections. A buddy of mine, Varian Inc., he picks them up for me. Give Varian Inc. a follow over on Instagram and everywhere else on whatnot. Uh, he he likes picking these up for me. I don't love them. Some people really do. But uh, we have a Marvel, a special Marvel Edition 15. This is the first Shang-Chi. This one looks really nice. It is probably going to go out to, to CGC. There's a little bit of a, you can see the fold here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Avengers 48, this book has fallen far down. This is the first Black Knight. Black Panther 1, Jungle Action 5, some Eternals, New Mutants 87, got, uh, 98. This is the first Deadpool, but I'm going to show you something. Newsstand copy, looks great and all. However, however, we do have some damage up top here. So it looked really good from the front. I missed all this when I bought the collection. Um, so that is unfortunate but it is a newsstand it's still probably like a hundred to two hundred dollar book somewhere in there but uh we'll see that'll be on whatnot before you guys know it actually it's going on whatnot tonight uh some x-men old and fallout four this is the second print wolverine one this is a newsstand wolverine eight this is the mr fix it for psylocke just some mcfarland spider-man this is the first black suit tied with See, it's not the second appearance black suit. It's tied for the first appearance of the black suit with Amazing Spider-Man 252. Here's ASM 316. Love this. First Venom cover, but it's really his first full Venom cover because his head is on issue 315 with Hydro Man. Secret Wars 8. This copy looks pretty good. I'm going to look a lot closer at it, get it pressed. Maybe we'll send this one out or we'll sell it raw. I don't know. ASM 361 newsstand. 362, 363, Lethal Protector 1, First Omega Red. Look at these prices, man. This is like a $20 book now. First Mr. Sinister. How much, how good does this look? Now there's a spine tick. First Gambit. Looks good, though. The Gambit looks good. Shang-Chi 20, uh, Master of Kung Fu 26, She-Hulk 1 for She-Hulk, Moon Knight 1, first solo title. Captain Marvel 26, first Thanos cover. Look at him, peekaboo, up there in the corner. Captain America, 275, 354, U.S. Agent 1, those are keys there. Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America, number 5. This is the first, ah, oh, the Spanish dude from Falcon Winter Soldier. I think it's his first appearance as Falcon. Forgot his name. 
Is it Ray, Reyes? Alex Reyes? Shoot, I don't know. I'm probably wrong. Invincible Iron Man number one. Here's a Kanan number six. Big time book here. A lot of keys. It was always back and forth. Kanan one or Kanan six. What's the money book? It's actually Kanan six. Inhumans five. First Yelena Belova. First Gore the God Butcher. They did my boy wrong. They did my boy wrong in that thund- God Love and Thunder. Ugh. Uh, Nova number one. I like this one. This book has fallen a lot too, but it's. I think it's. this book is getting really close to an amazing time to buy. But don't listen to me. Do your own research. Do your due diligence. I am not pushing you in any direction. Please do your own research. I like this. ASM 194, first black cat. We're going to have to send that out. X-Men 222, 212, 213. Uh, This is Jane Foster gets revealed as Thor. And I don't know about this one. Mighty Avengers number one. There might be something here. All right, let's, let's talk about the slabs now. All right, guys, so you saw the short boxes. Let's get into the slabs. There were a lot of keys there, a good amount of wall books. Some stuff's going to be tough to move, man. Some of that something is killing the children is tough to move. But then you had really nice books on top of it. So it it was a nice blend. So here with the slabs, nothing super crazy just one really nice one but we do have spider gwen number one in a 9.8 this is the scotty young variant i don't think this is too much money this is a pretty good one this is spider gwen number one in a 9.8 this is the original cover we have hawkeye number one in a 9.8 but this is the second print variant i have to check the value on this i'm not exactly positive uh some cool stuff here This is the Clayton Crane Spider-Man homage, the homage to Mr. McFarlane. Uh, This is a Scorpion Comics variant. We have the Virgin. We have the Trade, nine eights. Nine eights all across the board. We have Champions, number one. Nothing grand, nothing crazy. I think we only have one nine nine six, and this is it. Amazing Spider-Man, 325 McFarlane cover. You can see he's a Spider-Man guy. Uh, this is the, we'll talk about the best book in the batch after. Here's a Spider Gwen Zero. Looks a lot like Edge of Spider Verse 2. Pretty dang close. And with that, the final book in the lot, Amazing Spider Man number four. First appearance of Silk in a 9 8. I'm telling you, this book just finds me and in this grade. Nice book. Silk, in my opinion, undervalued. Another book that's a little undervalued is Marvel Premiere 15. Take a look at that. That's the first totally not even part of this collection, but it just kind of popped into my head. First Iron Fist. That book is, in my opinion, very undervalued. Please don't go out and buy it because I said that. It's not like I I don't have any on eBay or anything, okay? I'm not selling any on whatnot for all the people out there thinking I'm doing anything like that. I just, that's one book that always pops into my head. I think it's just undervalued. First, Iron Fist. Take a look at it. Tell me what you, tell me what you think actually in the comments. What do you think? Do your research. Do your due diligence. Do you think Marvel Premiere 15, is it undervalued? Is it overvalued? Or is it spot on and accurate? With that, let's talk about the price. Now, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna give you the five seconds. What do you think I paid for this entire collection? Five, four, three, two, one. I paid $1,750, which comes to $3,500 double. Do you think it's worth a value retail about $3,500? Yeah, I think it's close to it. Put it that way. I think it's close to it. Somewhere between 3000 and 4000 in that mix. 4000 on the very high. I'm hoping 3000 on the low. So can we double up with this one? Maybe. I do like, I will say this. I do like that it's a very small focused collection. There are a lot of keys in there. There's some variants in there. There's some some whatever in there. But it's it does have a lot of keys. So we'll see. Now that's it. Again, tell me in the, tell me down below in the comment section, did I overpay, underpay, was I spot on? Marvel Premiere 15, I want to hear it. Do you think it's overvalued, undervalued, or spot on? And that's it. Till we see you guys again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.